Question came in, Gary. What's the difference for NetSuite users between what iCharts provide and the NetSuite reporting capabilities? One of the keys is that the NetSuite core functionality traditionally reports on a single data point. We didn't have a way to go through and say, here are nine different trading partners. Let me map all that information on the same um, display so that people can go through and look at it. I could go through and I could map and graph on any single point, but I didn't really have the ability to go through and do the analysis across multiple input points. iCharts allows us to build these reports, like the chart you're looking at currently. There's also a report we put together that allows us to do calculations in an analysis where what the value on the left axis is is different than the value on the right axis. We track the number of orders someone may ship, the number of items they ship, but we've done a calculation that has a line going through it that shows the average number of shipments per. The NetSuite reports themselves also, you do need to know grouping, filtering, and sorting when you build your saved search to get it out. That functionality we've ripped out completely from our saved searches and we've incorporated all that in the actual iCharts report instead because 